going back to what you said a couple minutes ago, I do have a question on that. Sure. Uh, you said the only way is through faith, mm -hmm. in summary. To heaven? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, what is, I guess, your definition of faith? My definition of faith is kind of a belief, uh, somewhat uh, kind of a handing over belief that, you know, I don't know, nor do I have all the answers, nor can I logically prove anything. Um, but I know that the Holy Spirit has touched my heart, okay. and I have faith through that. So assuming that there could be some kind of proof of God um, and that it was basically just a scientific and logical absolute that, okay, yeah, God does exist. Something new happens tomorrow. Uh -huh. Where would that put faith then? Because you now have evidence. You don't require just blind obedience or... Right, there'd be no sacrifice or anymore. Accepting. No, no, no uh, you know... Exactly. It's, it's the standard. I mean, it's obvious. Mm -hmm. So where would that put faith? Well, let me ask you this. What kind, of proof would, what kind of proof would confirm that everybody, even you, would believe that there is a God? I'm not sure. Well, it would have to be the second coming. That, that might um, qualify. Let's that, that, that would be a good step in the right direction. <laughs> yeah. <now>. Um, <laughs> but... So I think it's kind of too late at that point. Well, not, well, not necessarily. I mean, that's not the only way pop... You know, assumably, that's a good point. There's that's a race not the only there. way that it, that could be proven. I mean, God could come down and you know stomp around New York City and show Himself and say, Second coming's coming in 45 years. Get ready." Um, in that case, it hasn't happened yet, right. um, and now we have proof of, of God. So again, where would that put faith? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I guess it would confirm your faith, or would your would there be a need for faith at that point? That's pretty hypothetical, but yeah. So, I think, um, going back to the people in the Bible, uh -huh. Adam, Eve, Moses, that type of thing, did they have any faith? They, they all chit-chatted with God. They, they, yeah, they, they had a pretty they had intimate the relationship. Because they didn't have a Savior. Okay, but they, had a, they did not have faith in God because they had a pretty, pretty intimate connection with Him. They talked with the guy pretty right. much daily. So not they everybody. Had, they had a personal proof. So Not they, everybody did. No, I know that. But them in particular, they didn't have faith, I guess. So apparently there are ways to heaven through more than just faith. No, I don't believe that. Okay, so are they not in heaven? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't answer that. I don't know that anybody okay. on this earth could, believe, could, could answer whether or not those people are on, in heaven or not. Okay. And then the other question, the other question I would have... Or people just the... have had a personal experience with God... Is that not a form of proof? If, if one would have a personal experience with God? Yeah. Is that not proof that there was a God? Well, no. If no, you... Say, like, like, say, Moses uh, chit-chatting... Well, with, not, even, with, not even Moses, but just anyone. Uh, me, a lot of, a me lot of, or you? Uh, religious people, typically. Okay. I mean, a lot of Christians call on the show and say, I'm not religious. I have a personal, you know, uh, relationship right. with Jesus or God. right. They have a personal relationship with it. That's pretty good proof, from you know, from their end of things, that you know God and Jesus exist. Therefore, that's right. That's right. No real need for faith. Yeah, the faith is the faith is, comes in the part that where are they going when they die? Eternity. Okay. Where are they saved? Um, so that where's their salvation? And so that person's one, that individual person's faith, who was probably inspired by the Holy Spirit. Um, touching their heart, and th that individual person is not really considered, I would say, what you guys would consider proof. No, they are not for everybody Would you call else. that proof? No, no, no. Right. But to themselves, to themselves they have their right. own form of proof. Right, but I think that's what gives them the faith of, of one. Well, either it's faith or it's evidence, right? What? It's either it's faith or it's evidence, right? So, so, so that's what we're, that's where I think we're getting at is, is, uh, if, it, if, if somebody has a personal relationship with God and, and, and that constitutes evidence for them, it's no longer faith. It's no longer, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, something that they have to, they yeah. have to work at, right? It's, it's free at that point, right? So the question is, you know, if, if, if faith is required for you to get to heaven, then you don't have to have this sacrifice of, of ignoring reality, ignoring the facts and, and, and things that, that, that contradict these things, then... Um, maybe you're not going to get to heaven. Well, you, you nailed it right on the head 
when you said it was free, because it is free. You, there's really nothing I have to do because I have faith, well, because it was given to me. It was a, That's what grace is. It was given to me by a gift from God through the Holy Spirit. So isn't but, that... But I want to get to a point that I heard on a couple of uh, shows ago. Here's one more. Um, I, I've always wondered about this, too. Uh, you had said, again, you get to heaven through faith. Do you agree with that standard? Meaning, again, assuming somebody killed 35 people in their life, found Jesus on the deathbed, and then converted, do you agree that they should go to heaven simply for the faith? Yeah. Why? Because it tells us in the Bible, if we believe in our heart... Well, no, that... that saying we the, believe in our heart, it doesn't tell no, you... No, but saying the rules are set up like that, uh -huh. and, you know, take it or leave it, that's how it is, is different from saying, I think that's right. I can know what the laws of this country are. I may not agree with all of them perfectly, right. but I know what they are. It's just so a personal responsibility. So that's thing, right? so that's a di that's the difference. What I'm saying is, do you agree morally with what the Bible says in, in this in this regard, um, or do you disagree? Again, well, let's, I, it, let's say I, I lived a good life. I you know went to school every day. I was a good person, helped people out, and I die by trying to save a busload of kids from, you know, exploding. Right. Um, that but, sounds but like a pretty good life. I should never have faith. I should go to heaven. I mean, again, thinking as I am, I've lived a pretty good life. That should earn heaven. Somebody who killed 35 people and then found Jesus just before the injection, they should go to hell. So the thought That's is, what I think is not more fair. fair. I, yes, right? assuming the Bible is set up as is, I don't agree it's fair. But you're saying you're saying that's not fair, and the, and you think that I should be, I'm saying that should be un that's not right that that person who lived a good life, even though they may not have had faith, well, or, are more or let's just say that somebody who had faith most of their life then they die, and then person another person lives their whole life not through faith. I mean, complete like you said, they've yeah. killed 35 people, go in prison, and on their deathbed they say, I I believe, and it's true, and it's from their heart, and only God can tell if it's from their heart or not. Okay. Um, that is, it, would Christians, I think, would Christians think, is that fair? You know, and that's us judging as people, is that fair or not? But yeah. as for what the Bible says... Do you not have the ability to question God, though? Do I have say, the ability? Yeah, yeah that's I mean, my the, will. The ability, and I would almost say the obligation to look at him and say, you know, or this, to look is, at this, moral, this moral is morally reprehensible. What's go the rules that have been set up here are morally reprehensible. Anyway, we're, I am we're sorry. sorry. We're going to have to yep. cut you off because we're running out of time. Okay.